Here's my ex-corporate, almost junker, IBM T61 ThinkPad, or Lenovo at this point in time, but as you can tell, it's very worn out, the shiny keyboard and all that due to uh, people's hands wearing off the finish. But it's got a problem, and I've known about it for a while. It was getting noisy. I just didn't want to deal with it, but here's the fan. Sounds the double beep code and then shuts off in a second. Yeah, the fan's shot. I've got another one. I am going to try oiling this one first, but I doubt it's going to do much. But I'm going to flip it over and take it apart. Make sure to first to remove all the goodies from it. Well, I can't do that on camera, but... When I have the back panel off, I'll come back. Through the continuous removal process of screws, <laughs> I managed to get it open, and you can kind of hear this, and I got myself caught on something else, but... Yeah, fan's shot. Uh, I don't think oil's going to recover that, but I have another laptop just like this that I can salvage one from. So, I'll first try oiling it, but if I can get to it... <laughs> Well, here it is, fan removed, still making its ruckus, but I really can't see any good way to try to lubricate this thing. It seems rather sealed. I do have a bit of a way. It's non-OEM approved, but I'm thinking if I drill a hole right in the center of there, very small pinhole, might be able to get a little bit of oil in there. I can't see any other way to do it because there's really just no focus. Wait for that to work and the dogs are going crazy. Well, I cut the foil that was holding this in place and lo and behold, and bent these little tabs that right here back. And uh, the mechanism dumps does come out, in which case I was able to pull this apart. I don't know if oil will do anything, but I'll give it a little bit and see if it improves the situation. If it doesn't, I guess I'll have to take apart mine. Uh, my other one, that is, actually. Um, so, I'll lubricate it and see if it sounds any better spinning. Well, I gave it some Zoom Spout turbine oil, and uh, it sounds better. Um, not as bad as it was. Seems to certainly have quite a bit of free spinning. So, I'll put it back in, see how it goes. I'm blowing the dust off the fins. You can hear the compressor in the other room. I'm letting it fill up before I blow off the little carbon, I'm sorry, the um, copper, almost uh, heat sink radiator-like fins. So I'll let those, I'm gonna blow those off and then reassemble this whole thing. And I've got some new aluminum foil tape. So I'll put that on. Probably isn't necessary, but I will. Well, it's all back together with new foil tape here um, to hold everything down. That needs to be stuck a little bit better. Actually, that's just the, uh, the residual um, foam stuff still there. But I'm going to clean off the uh, old heat sink compound and uh, apply some new stuff here. But for the most part, the fan assembly is done. I mean, you, can, you can hear how it sounds now. It's very quiet. And so now I'll get it back over into the computer, which is currently in quite a state from all this. Well, it's back together now, and, um, you know, I should, you know, try to hide these, but I'll be honest, I have two screws left over. But uh, with the condition of the rest of the thing and the fact that it was already missing some screws, I frankly don't care. Um, I bought this computer on eBay for a cheap amount um, simply because... Uh, I'm very hard on laptops. I tend to drop things, and as such, um, spending money on a new one wasn't a good bargain anymore. So I decided to get something cheap, uh, used, that if it fell off a cliff, it really didn't matter. So screws extra, 
I think they're internal ones. The case screws I've all put back in. And I'm not taking it apart again just for that. But here's the moment of truth. I have power applied. Let's see if it does anything. Oh, actually I unapplied power just for the purpose of the video clip. Where is that? But now here is the moment of truth, the actual moment of truth. Start windows normally. Uh, when I had it last time, I had the brightness way down. In fact, this thing, I had it sitting on a table on my nightstand, and it, uh, so it looks like it's working. Uh, and it, uh, in the middle of the night, started doing that chuttery rattle and woke me up. So. I think that's the moment of truth. You can hear the fan ever so slightly here. I can't barely hear it, but I can hear it a little bit, so I know it's actually running. And uh, there it is. I'll make out the icons a little bit, but. Uh, I'd call that a successful repair. I'll put the battery back in. I'll put the screws in, uh, in the screw drawer that we keep all the extra fasteners from things uh, you know that have, we've thrown out over the years. We'll keep some of the screws and various items and we'll use them in other things. But I'd call this success, a successful repair um, and hopefully it stays this way. I'm afraid that the oil is just going to dry up real quick and the, th the fan's going to go back to doing what it does. But if it does happen to do so, I have another ThinkPad that has a bad screen that I can yank the whole fan assembly from. So, uh, that's that.